Vellus hip navigation in a patient with avascular necrosis. This case starts with first looking at the AP pelvis to assess for leg length inequality. You can see that this patient's leg is significantly shortened radiographically. The patient is at a high risk for dislocation with this diagnosis post-operatively. With vellus hip navigation, we can achieve stability with an anatomic restoration of the patient's anatomy. Templating this patient's hip is done by using the contralateral hip. A prior CT scan in the patient's chart demonstrates that her native hip is 44 millimeters in diameter before collapse. I therefore use this as her calibration marker for templating. The patient's native hip templates to a standard offset stem, and I know that her acetabular cup will be in the 46 to 49 millimeter range. I go into this surgery planning on using a bimentum dual mobility cup to help reduce her post-operative dislocation risk. With the templating function, I've selected a 47 millimeter bimentum cup and a size eight standard offset stem with a plus 1.5 head. My approach to these patients is to reduce the joint by applying axial traction to the operative leg. The femoral head is now reduced in its pre-collapse position. I use this image for my one trial analysis later in the case. I want to add up to one to three millimeters of length to her leg for stability. I use the templated image in surgery to verify the level of my neck cut. I then ream the acetabulum. Given the uncertainty of the patient's length, I altered my workflow for this case. I placed both the trial cup and stem in this patient before committing the final components. With the trials in place, a new x-ray is obtained and the one trial analysis is run. In viewing my trial, I felt I can go up an additional stem size. With the one trial data here, I know I'm adding length and she will have both a positive femoral and positive total offset. I also know that by placing the real cup and stem, I will have plenty of head options to get my leg length correct. I also feel that a standard offset stem fits this patient's anatomy with these offset numbers. I then commit to a 47 millimeter bimentum cup. I first obtain a level pelvis for vellus to register the pelvic reference points. The key to inserting the bimentum cup is to adjust the contrast on the C-arm to better visualize the ellipse. Then align the cup with the desired antiversion and inclination angles. Then seat the cup. With this patient, the final cup is 41 degrees of inclination and 26 degrees of antiversion. I then open and insert a size 8 standard offset actus stem and I try out with a plus 1.5 head. A one trial analysis is then run with this trial head and the final stem. In looking at this chart with the standard offset stem, there are several good options for the surgeon to choose from. I then placed a plus 1.5 head, as my goal for this patient was to be plus length, plus femoral offset, and a neutral to slightly positive total offset for stability. This then ends the surgery. This demonstrates the ease of use of the one trial analysis with vellus tip navigation to go from trial to final implants with an accurate data-driven decision.